You want to see something Ooh. really cute? That's adorable. Evie. Little baby by <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid directions, you idiot. I'm Corbin. I'm Pop Pop. No, oh, is that what she calls you? Well, not yet. She's. she's Doesn't barely speak even, yet? Barely even cooing. Ah, Leland She's was five weeks old. Leland was speaking by four weeks. Leland was drinking rum three weeks. <laughs> Anyways. Today we are reacting to a, a, a snippet of an interview. This is with uh, Amit Trivedi. Cool! And, um. FCOM? No, no. Ben, ben. Oh, just Badsha and Amit Trivedi. Uh, and this is a. We have did one with Anurad Kashyap and, and Kalki. It's a tape one. Oh! Um, so this is. Yeah. This is with okay. him. Um, when four years of hard yeah. work, working outside your comfort zone, and creating the best soundtrack of your career is met with rejection, how does an artist deal with it? Well, that's easy. You kill everyone. Watch Amit Trivedi talk about his most ambitious, but not the most successful project, Bombay Velvet. Uh, I've heard about Bombay Velvet. That's on your Ed Kashyap's. Um, it was not a successful film. Uh, because? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Oh. Uh, but I, I've heard that is like, so... Probably one of those things that had high-level artistic merit, but nobody cared. Mm. Or vice versa. Or maybe he... I don't know if he like had too much money and like he they wanted him to make a commercial thing maybe, uh, and then he obviously that's not really his shtick, right? Um, so I don't know. I haven't we seen. We don't it. know. You can let us know. But I'm a tr if I'm a true did the well, music, I'm sure it's yeah. fantastic. Well, and clearly it just said he was working and did one of what is his most ambitious uh, works of art and didn't meet with commercial success. This is well, intriguing. I'm, sh I'm sure that's because Anya Akasha let him do what he wanted to do. Right. He was like, okay, make me something great. Make something great, and let's do it. And if it doesn't hit the commercial buttons, I don't care. Yeah. All right, here we go. More power to you. How about the truth? How do you, when there's some negative comment on the work that you have done, which is you think is great? I was sitting with Papa, and Papa told me that Ramji will be able to do everything. Just relax. But sir, uh, I don't know what to do. But sir, so he asked, like, he told me to focus on the love. So he said, you're crazy, why are you taking so much attention? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, Sharma Ji is asking you every day about you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like, you know, there are so many people who love you. Who, okay. Who, okay. And I think you should focus, focus on that. Good advice. And sometimes there is a human nature that some people are very critical and they comment on it later. And speaking to so, some of you. It was a little difficult, but I have learned. You have learned. Yeah. Learned. yeah. Okay. I have learned a lot of people, like industry people, because it was, it, it was getting bad for me. So, I actually asked Karan, sir. Hmm. So, Karan was like, I wake up trolls every morning. <laughs> the, the amount of negativity that I get. So, that is my fuel. Bombay will not give up. How? 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 the most, most ambitious and the most uh, fantastic sure. soundtrack I, I have ever created in my career because I have had the most fun in that. It was the most fun in that. It was the process. It was the process. So end result, it doesn't, it did hit me. You loved I, making that. Right? Loved like how? Because number one, I'm not a jazz musician. I'm a jazz musician, who am not a jazz musician. So it was a challenge As an artist. As an artist, to do a standard jazz. We were talking about big band standard jazz, not even the contemporary. But I didn't even know anything about it. I didn't even have any idea. Hmm. So the whole process of learning jazz, the whole process of uh, listening to Ella Fitzgerald and all Frank Sinatra's of the world, mm. day in, day out, and understanding, okay, yes, swing, okay, yes, I, yes, 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 this way. It was such a fun experience, tha, and it's such a, what do you say? It's expressive form of music. Mm. Uh, jazz is, has a... We've talked about that. Mm. Ocean, it's like an but ocean of I'm sure the Eastern can do it. Jazz would be the music of the gods and stuff like that. I'm like, wow, this is a new world that I'm learning. I'm ready mm. to learn something. Mm. I don't know what's going to happen. Because in the world, mm. if you go and see, the population that listens to jazz is one or two percent in the world. Mm. It's India. There's no chance People are missing out. People are missing out. I wanted to tell this to Anurag, sir. Uh. 
सर ही कौन सुनेगा सर जैस कौन सुनेगा सर हाउ विल यू हाउ विल यू कनेक्ट तो मैं वो डर रहा था पूछने के लिए नहीं पूछी कुछ ही वॉज वेरी श्योर कन्विंस डू जैस एंड आई डिड अ स्मार्ट थिंग आई जस्ट डिड क्लब मेरा लेट लेट मी डोंट थिंक लेट मी फाइंड अ मिड वे लेट मी क्लब एल फिज गर एंड फ्रेंड्स इन आटरा विद ओपन एयर एंड गीता दत्त गीता दत्त एंड नौशाद एंड गीता दत्त जस्ट जस्ट क्लब दीज टू मिक्स एड एंड सी वट हैपन एंड देन आई गेस वट एवर हैपन आई है नीति हैडा नीति मोहन वॉज पार्ट ऑफ एंड एंड अमिताभ भट्टाचार्य वी रियली एंजॉयड इट इट केम आउट एंड इट it released on friday and saturday it was out when <laughs> <laughs> and uh, nobody knew about the music and jisne bhi bahut logo ko bahut acha laga aur bahut logo ko samajh bhi nahi aaya mere immediate family ko mere mere sister ko sunaya yeah pura album khatam hone ke baad ulone bola kuch samajh nahi aaya oh wow to din to char saal ki mehnat aise gudar ek second shot mein aise fuss ho gayi bola ga nahi samajh main bhi wo वो टेस्ट बर्ज नहीं है इधर तो हमारे सो मैं मुझे ऐसा लगता है यू कैन नॉट ब्लेम एनीवन यू कैन नॉट ब्लेम एनीवन नो यू कैन ब्लेम द ऑडियंस यू कैन नॉट नेवर ब्लेम नेवर ब्लेम द ऑडियंस दे आर द अल्टीमेट आई डिसएग्री विद यू अभी वही कहते हैं ना बट इट्स आर्ट सो इट्स सब्जेक्टिव इट्स सब्जेक्टिव अभी वो भी कैसा सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ वर्ल्ड नाइट नाउ इज टॉकिंग अबाउट कंटेंट इज किंग कंटेंट इज किंग हाउ द फक डू यू नो इट्स किंग एवरीबॉडी मेकिंग कंटेंट सॉरी सॉरी फॉर द लैंग्वेज <laughs> हर एक इंसान के लिए सर साल में 200 सौ फिल्में रिलीज होती है हर डायरेक्टर के लिए हर राइटर के लिए उसकी फिल्म बेस्ट है कंटेंट बेस्ट है चलती है पांच दस है तो हम डिसाइड कंटेंट इज अच कंटेंट इज अंग तो वो बहुत ट्रिकी एंड वो दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस फील्ड दैट वी आर इन दैट नो बडी नोस एंड नो बडी विल एवर नो दैट्स वाई वी की एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड नो बडी कैन नो वट विल वर्क एंड दैट्स द बेस्ट पार्ट about life and about this field again. What's the oh. full episode? Ah, I could have I could have said to that. Thank you Akshara. Thank you so much oh, for. Oh yeah. Cuz it's just a clip from that I, I'm sure it's like a 30 minute actual interview. Yeah. I could, he seems like a very really intelligent man. Um oh, yeah. and obviously we know from his crap. It makes me want to watch Bombay Velvet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, me too. One on your right show. Love him. Uh but I have this is probably one of his most divisive films but not divisive in terms of um uh like him being divisive you know cuz a lot of right. people think Anya Rakashi is divisive his artistic choice i guess like right? i guess people think it's just bad it could be could be i don't know but the fact that like it's Anya Rakashi up it has his music and the fact that it's jazz one well, i love jazz so maybe it wasn't meant for indian audiences right and we as americans might be able to understand it right and we talked i've talked about this a lot and i'll bang it till the cows come home the difference between personal preference and artistic appreciation and definitive discipline if you know somebody sits down at a piano and they play three discordant notes and say that's a g major i'm going to say yeah no it's not uh that's the definitive discipline but someone can play those three notes that are dissonant and go that's cool that's the subjective sense of the per- perception so yeah art is definitively as a whole for everyone you can look at two paintings. I like it. I don't. And it has nothing to do with the discipline. And that is one of the great mysteries about artistic expression. Is mm-hmm. we can we can watch the same movie you love it me not like it mm-hmm. for just our own perception. Yeah. And I guess that's what happened. Like he said, the taste buds just weren't there for them cinematically or artistically. It just wasn't their cup But of tea. But it's so interesting that he went in not knowing anything about jazz yeah. and did a jazz that's hard. that he That's did that was complicated art forms <laughs> and mus- mu- musical art forms for a westerner yeah to jump into mhm let alone but we've talked about this before how our exposure to indian classical music has so often reminded us of the combination of structure and free flow that you can find in in jazz we made that early on that connection yeah. and felt that that would be a natural bridge once it was learned and that once people from indian music like were introduced it seems to think that as well absolutely yeah. once you're introduced to it i would think of any of the western forms jazz might be the one that they most appreciate because it's so similar in the fact that it's an expressive form that's free flowing but also has some disciplines attached to it and he seemed to 
mm-hmm. say that. It'd be interesting. Yeah, but I, it says not just a lot about him to dive into that. Mm-hmm. Come on, on your own, Kashyap, to say, I want to do jazz, first of all, and I'm going to get somebody who's never done jazz. What does that say about him and his trust and his brilliance and his willingness to just, I don't care. I want to do this. I'm taking a risk. It might not work, and I don't care because we're just going to do this. Well, as we've talked to him, I mean, he love it. He, works with people he can trust yes and then he just he lets them do their work and obviously he's gonna say whatever his vision is he's gonna make sure you're doing what his vision is but he's yes. gonna let the artist be the artist which is the most important thing and i think that's one of the things we're you and i are we might be guilty of we mention it uh, as a passing secondary element but we probably don't talk enough about how valuable risk is in artistic expression yeah we do, and we say that's a brave choice, or we love that choice, and it's like an undercurrent. Yeah. But it, it is one of the highest qualities in great artistry, whether it's an actor, a musician, a director, is the fact that they're willing to take risks. Mm. They're willing. That's why you love so much actors that aren't the same. Yep. Because being the same is a safe choice. Yep. And it's not a dangerous, risky choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and that is one of the wonderful, beautiful things about this is that there are artists willing to just risk it because I want to try that and see if it works. Yep. And now I really want to see Bombay Velvet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let us know your, your opinions on Bombay Velvet. Uh, it won't be the next one we watch. Uh, that'll probably be Gulal or Black Friday or, or something along those lines. But we're going to watch everything on your Akashi Ups ever done. Yep. So I'd like to see, even if his work is by everybody's account bad yeah i would like to see on your kasha and bad uh, work how bad do you want to hear amit trivedi's attempt at jazz yeah come on so yeah we're gonna get to it let us know down below